Hi everyone. Today let us discuss about the architecture L051 in the first unit. So uh, before uh, starting that, I would like to tell you that this architecture L051 has been introduced by Intel Corporation and we have the diagrammatic sketch. This is the simple architecture of the L051 microcontroller and here we have in this uh, uh, diagram we have the uh, very first one we have the CPU which is nothing but the central processing unit which is very important uh, uh, it is playing a very important role in this and uh, here we have the oscillator and this is the central processing unit next we have the 4 kilobyte read only memory and followed by 128 bytes random access memory and we have the timer, we have, uh, we can name it as a timer 0 or timer 1 or we can name it as timer 1 and also the timer 2. Next we have the serial port which is used for, for transmitting and also the receiving the information or the data. And followed by we have the 4 input output ports. This is the 4 ports we have, it has been named as P0, P1, P2 and also P3. Whereas here address or data we can store it and uh, followed by we have the bus control. So it is used to control uh, whatever operation we perform in this. So here this is the interrupt control. So external interrupts we have here. So this is the simple sketch of the 8051 architecture and uh, uh, we have uh, let us now uh, see one by one. So we have the bus control. So we have the bus control and uh, in this bus control we have the data bus and also the address bus. So data bus we have 8 bit data. So in this we have 8 bit data whereas in the address bus we have 16 bit bus 16 bit and here this 16 bit bus transfer information but not data. So first of all I would like to tell you so what is meant by bus. Bus means what? So normally bus used to carry uh, the person from one place to another. So and then it has been connected together. So if, uh, if it has been like a, a one stage or two stage definitely we don't call it as a bus. So it is a continuous process and the person it carries from one place to another place that is from the source to the destination the point where they reach that is the bus control so likewise here it is going to carry the data and also the address and the next we have the four general purpose parallel input output ports so we have the four general purpose parallel input output ports in the sense we have P0, P1, P2 and P3 which I have told you earlier. So in this ports, four uh, ports we have no external memory and it acts as the general purpose input output ports and if for example I told you it requires no internal memory but in case if inter external memory, external memory means it acts as a multiplex address and also the data bus and also it plays a dual role. So here we have the port 1, port 2 that is uh, port 0, port 1 and also the port 2. So all these functions belongs to the port 0 and port 1 we have input output ports. It does not perform dual function whereas in the port 0 it is performing the dual function. So in this it does not perform the dual function whereas your P2 it is also similar to the port 0 operations all the operations and then whereas P3 it behaves as a dedicated input output port. So whereas these are about the bus control and also the input output ports. So we have next we have the so here we have CPU. So already I told you that is the central processing unit is very very important. It is playing a major role and here we have the system bus that is nothing but the internal bus. So this CPU we all know it is called as the central processing unit whereas if we have in your desk desktop computer also the major thing CPU does without that nothing exists. So CPU uh, so in this we have the arithmetic logic unit whereas all operations that is addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication everything could be performed in the arithmetic logic unit which is nothing but in the CPU we have and moreover we have registers. Registers in the 
the sense we have a b and also program status word and in this we have 16 bit program counter so we have 16 bit program counter so in that 16 bit program counter we have data pointer and also the stack pointer so data pointer we know dptr so in this data pointer we have uh, only the user accessible 16 bit register we can tell that is called as the data pointer whereas the stack pointer so it shows the memory so it is storing the memory and uh, addition of the last data element added to the stack so that will be your stack pointer so uh, it is store it stores the memory that has been added to the last data element that has been added to the stack so that is the stack pointer so uh, the i told you we have the arithmetic logic unit here whereas your arithmetic logic unit it uh, it performs the 8 bit operations it is storing everything or it is performing the addition subtraction etc it performs the 8 bit operations and it also manipulates 1 bit and 8 bit logical operations it also manipulates what 1 bit and also 8 bit logical operations and in this cpu we have the accumulator we know so everything has been stored in that so in that we have accumulator register a and register b and also program status but i already told you whereas in the accumulator in the uh, a register we have the 8 bit register in the accumulator so it is used to hold the source operand and also it receives the result of the function in the register a whereas in the register b it is also a 8 bit register and also it is also used as the general purpose register so these are the accumulators in the accumulator we have a register and also the b register and then uh, so next we have the data pointer so already told you some uh, that is the, the definition part of the data pointer and also the stack pointer so data pointer we have dptr short in short we used to say dptr and data pointer it is a 16 bit register and it is used to hold as it is the 16 bit register it is used to hold what 16 bit address and it acts as the base register this data pointer it acts as the base register uh, in the jump and also the lookup table so it acts as the base register in the jump and also the lookup table instructions and external data transmission this is about the data pointer followed by we have the program counter and in this program counter uh, so it is also a 16 bit register this program counter it is hold, it is used to hold the address of the memory location from which next instruction is to be fetched that is the role of the program counter so I repeated this is also the 16 bit register it is used to hold the address of memory location from which next instruction is to be fetched that is the role of the program counter and next in this we have the flag registers or the program status word already told you in the accumulator we have register A, register B and also the program status word so in this program status word or the flag register we have the already we uh, uh, come to know that we have the carry flag majorly we have the carry flag axillary flag and also the parity flag so these are the major things we have in this one so uh, in the carry flag it is performing the arithmetic operation whereas in the axillary carry flag so axillary carry flag what we have uh, in the carry flag that is the first one if we add any two numbers if we have uh, if we generate carry from the so we call it as the carry flag while performing the arithmetic operations whereas in your axillary carry flag so axillary carry flag so you will be having the result in the uh, aligned number is too large that is uh, so you will be having uh, that is the result you will be having a uh, result when we generate from a signed number if it is too large axillary carry too large means definitely more than necessary we have in that axillary carry flag so what we call it as it is called as overflow overflow for example uh, from the tap water is flowing in the bucket we are filling in the bucket so if it exceeds more than the requirement 
definitely we call it as the overflow in the water so similarly we have in the signed number if it is the result what we get in a signed number if it is too large more than it requires we call it as the axillary carry flag and the last one we have the parity flag so parity flag it is nothing but number of ones in the accumulator so number of ones how it has been stored in the accumulator we call it as the parity flag for example if p is equal to 0 so number of ones is even we used to say and if p is equal to 1 number of ones we call it as odd numbers so like that we have in the parity flag and followed by we have the system bus so we could be able to find in the system bus it has been connected see all the operation that is the internal bus it is connecting all the operations whereas here this acts as the central uh, uh, role in this one whereas all the uh, supplementary uh, blocks are being connected in this internal bus that is nothing but the system bus. So it is nothing but the 8 bit data bus and also the 16 bus, uh, 16 bit address bus. So it is having 8 bit data bus and it is having 16 bit address bus. Whereas uh, it is uh, used to uh, construct all the internal devices to the CPU. As I already told you, this acts as a major role and this is the central processing unit which, is, which has been playing a very important role in this architecture 8051. So this system bus, it is playing the, uh, it is used to connect all the internal devices in the CPU. So, next we have the input output ports we have, which we have discussed in the uh, earlier uh, thing. So, we have the uh, four ports we have and we call it as the bi-directional. So, all these uh, ports we call it as the bi-directional. And here we have the serial data. I told you this is used for transmitting and also the receiving the data so the information. And it is full duplex. We call this one that is... Uh, in this we can transmit and receive data so we call it as a full duplex and uh, this is the external device in the, it has been used in the serial communication this has been used in the serial communication uh, this is all about the 8051 architecture or the microcontroller and hope all of you understood this one thank you very much